All of these handbags are not quota bags. You don't have to have pre-spending of any sort to get it. They're not only affordable in terms of price point, they're also very functional. Hi guys, welcome back to today's video. If you're on the market looking for an Hermes handbag that is under $5,000, this video is going to show you eight handbags that is under 5K. They're not only affordable compared to all the other luxury handbags on the market right now, they're also functional. I am going to be giving you guys a brief history about these handbags and what sizes they are. I don't own all of them. However, I've done quite some reviews on a lot of them. Some you might be familiar, some you might not heard of. The order are going to be from the least expensive to the most expensive according to the knowledge that I have on prices. But as usual, all of these prices could be changed, you know, in the next month or so, depending on what the brand is doing, really. So if you are seriously considering any of these luxury goods, my advice is always go for it when you're ready and don't wait too long because look at the Chanel Classic flaps. It is impossible for me to think about owning another one at this very moment because of how much the price had gone up. However, for the ones that I own, the price is kept pretty well and I'm very happy with it. So if you're on the market for one, make sure you go after it. Without further talking, let's get into today's video. The very first one is the Evelyn in the TPM size which is also what we call the mini Evelyn it is the smallest size that the brand makes the current price is around two thousand dollars it is a very desirable style it is lightweight it is crossbody it's casual it's very easy to carry around and also it is offered in seasonal colors and classic colors this bag has made it onto a lot of people's wish list and I have shared this many times with you guys the correct way to wear the mini Evelyn is to wear the perforated H side towards you because I was the back side oftentimes we are wearing it turning the H side out which I really like it's a very subtle detail that everyone could appreciate and there's really no bad colors you know for such a cute style if you're looking for a small bag that is quick and easy when you're on the go Evelyn is a great option to consider second bag from the list will be her bag zip in size 31 her bag zip is a bag that's been talked about a lot and it has a very affordable entry price point compared to all of the other Hermes handbags and also it is very big compared to you know some of the smaller size bags and price wise it is currently I think around $2,800 I also see that the brand has been making a lot of special releases so if you don't like you know just the solid one color you can go for something a little bit different this bag was released in 2009. People view the Herbag Zip as a more affordable version of the iconic Kelly bag. The Herbag Zip is made of canvas and cowhide leather, which is called the Hunter leather on the flap. And it also features a very lookalike Kelly clock closure. It also has a inner removable zipper compartment that you can take out and use as a wristlet. So this bag definitely offers a lot of functionalities besides looks. If it's the first time you're looking at this bag, you're gonna think, oh, it's gonna be expensive because it's bigger in size because the actual Kelly has a turn lock design versus the her bag, it does have a big buckle right in the middle as a centerpiece. Even the flap is very hard to kind of, you know, push under big metal that is holding the strap. So if you're using it, just make it easy for yourself and leave it open and it is quite a style like that as well. The next style is the Pickleton Lock 18 and I have just recently unboxed one on the channel. If you haven't checked it out yet, make sure you click here or check the information in the description box because I leave tons of info down below for you guys to use as a reference if you need it. The Pickleton Lock is currently costing 2,800 US dollars from the boutique directly. The Picoton is a very highly desired style. It is not the easiest thing to get from the store, especially the smallest size, which is the Picoton Lock 18. And from there, there's the 22 and 30, and I think there's even a bigger one. So if you're looking for a stylish, slouchy, and easy to hold handbag on your wrist, Pigotin is definitely a great pick. It has such a great storage capacity inside the bag, even though it doesn't really have any compartments. Oftentimes a bag insert is recommended because you can then just put anything in its own compartment without making a mess. And 
Pickleton Lock 18 is quite small, so if you are someone who don't carry a lot of things with you, I think that is plenty space. There are plenty of color to choose from. If you like a specific color from a particular color family, most of the time the Pickleton style is offered in those range as well. I'm just sitting here repeating things I already share with you guys because you already know it is a great bag. The next bag I want to talk about is Hermes Garden Party as this bag is kind of like the Louis Vuitton Neverfull from Hermes in my opinion as I see a lot of similarities. Garden Party has a casual relaxed vibe but it's also very structured so it can be very chic if you dress it up. I often see a lot of friends you know tying twillies on the handles which the handles are very structured so you can put your arm in and out really really easily and if you like a bigger size sometimes it can go on your shoulder. That's why it is another favorite piece from the brand. The toad has a simple and classic silhouette, which isn't as flashy or overwhelmingly recognizable as the other styles. It is elegant enough to be used for more professional or formal occasions, and not to mention the garden party is offered in different leather material plays. The most common one that I saw are canvas body, the leather trim, and the leather handle, which reduces the weight of the bag, which in turn makes everyone loves it because it is a bag that is made into medium to large sizes so you don't want the bag itself to be heavy um, as it is a catch-all for everything. I forgot to mention a very important factor. The price for the Hermes Garden Party um, size 30, which is the TPM, is around 3,600 at the moment. I believe the price got shifted again, but 3,600 for a tote like style bag is still a very, very good style to own. I guess the next style isn't really a bag bag, you know, by the definition of it, but it is a leather clutch called Zhizh Ilang. It is a flat envelope styled clutch with a flap top that's secured by a leather piece that you can slide into as a lock of the bag. From the design, you can see that it has a big H logo sewn on there as well. So it is obvious it is from the Maison. At the same time, it is interestingly low key because it kind of blends in with all of the other leather trims and everything. It is instantly recognizable by people who love the brand, of course. It is also relatively easier to score than other Hermes clutches, which we can talk about that in a different video. But I really remember whenever I have um, visited the Hermes boutique, I've always seen the bag on display and it was great. This bag is also very flexible as you can either dress up with it or dress down with it, making it super easy to transition from day to night. It's costing around $3,700, which I think for a clutch, it is definitely priced on the higher side. And I think the brand is probably thinking, you know, we're putting the age big and loud out there so people recognize it. So it is something to consider if you want a piece that is more for a special occasion or if you want something more every day. This is all personal decision, but I think this is still a great piece under the 5K category. Next, we got the Kelly Togo wallet. And this thing is something that is really in the talks in the recent two years because Kelly wallet was only offered in the original form, which without the strap, the new style, which is called the Kelly Togo wallet, is a style that comes with a strap that's pre-sewn into the wallet, which makes it a very stylish and classic and desirable crossbody. The major difference between those two are a removable shoulder strap so the strap is very useful the design of this Kelly bag is the same as the wallet which includes the Kelly lock which is a turn lock then you have the removable strap and you can obviously also hide the strap if you don't want to carry it interior comes with three compartments including a central zip change purse as well as four car slots the price difference between the two is around five to six hundred dollars if you look at the price point, the strap is almost costing $600 and it's kind of crazy to think about it. But it does change of the classic item and a lot of people are going for it. Anything from the Kelly family is really hard to get your hands on from the leather department if it's a handbag. So a lot of people are like just very satisfied if they can get a Kelly wallet because it is a lot more affordable and also it's something that you can choose from a wide range of colors and leather variations. The next one I 
have also talked about it is the Halzen. I'm sorry about the American pronunciation. The Halzen in the mini size, which is also the Halzen 22. It is a very flexible and soft bag that has the top part folded over in the front. And the Halzen was launched in 2014 and it features a front belt buckle detail and a stirred up shape handle with its unique design. The tote can be folded and can be carried in a variety of ways. Um, it can be used as tote, shoulder bag, crossbody, and even as a clutch. It is obvious that it was inspired by the Maison's equestrian heritage. The name Halzen is derived from a horse coat color. What's great about this bag is its versatility and shape-shifting qualities. This bag is a fun bag. It doesn't have the most simplistic design, but that's what people appreciate, right? It's not something that you just buy because it has a classic iconic look. It certainly does, but it's also very very unique finally this style I was not too familiar with but once I took a look at it I understood why it could be a popular style because it's very simple and easy to use on the daily and this style is called the double sense it's offered in various sizes but I believe the smaller the size is the less expensive it is but overall this bag is still under five thousand dollars um, it is another tote design from the brand, the Double Sun, which is a great alternative to the Garden Party. It has a very soft and unstructured body, so you can pretty much use it to however you like. You won't really break the bag, but you have a lot more flexibility and room if you need to carry a lot. Prices are anywhere between $3,400 up to $5,000. So it is still within that nice and sweet spot. These are the A style of handbags that I wanted to share with you guys today that is under $5,000. Some of them are very recognizable while the other ones are very easy to use and function. I believe this range of bag is something that we can all pick and choose from. You know, the size varies and the color range is pretty amazing so even if you don't like something from the current season you can always look for it in the coming season for those Hermes lovers if you are a client with the brand you know how the brand likes to you know make it hard for us to purchase some of their really hot bags but any of these styles from the list today is relatively easy to purchase including some of the harder to purchase ones like the mini Evelyn or the Picoton lock but I've been there I really think if you are a a client that is looking for things from Hermes is really not hard to ask for any of these bags and my personal favorite is probably still going to be the mini Avalon which is the TPM size I find it very easy to use and you can also purchase different strap options to make it a lot more fun than the original strap that it comes in I have shared and showed you guys that the brand has been offering you know different woven leather patterns for this particular style so just be on the lookout and maybe look for the special one if you don't like the tone on tone look of the strap so I would really like to know if you like any of these styles from the eight that I made it on the list today tell me what is your favorite and why do you like it can't wait to read away in the comment section below and thank you so much for watching today's video guys if you haven't subscribed I would love you if you join the channel because it really means a lot if you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and I cannot wait to see you guys on the next video take care for now bye